you know, some of y'all parents that I be seeing on social media, y'all need to stop posting y'all kids on the internet. Y'all need to stop, you know, posting your kids and, you know, and all of that. And that's, you know, and I see that from these family channels. Like, I was watching a video the other day. And I didn't even watch the full video, but I just seen like a little clip of it. And, you know, cause I, cause like a couple of days ago, we had like a big storm here and I typed in a uh, tornado or some shit. And then I saw a title of the video called my family survived the tornado. And <laughs> my family survived the tornado. And, um, you know, I saw that and, you know, these people, they got the kids all in the camera and, you know, it's, it's, it's like the, you know, like the Ace family and Prince family. It's like, dude, like, you know, these kids didn't sign up to get famous and shit. You know, we don't know if these kids are going to like all this damn attention from the, you know, because they're going to grow up and they're, they're, they're going to be famous because y'all famous. And now they're going to get all this attention and shit. You know, they didn't ask. To, they didn't ask for that. You know, you shouldn't be putting your kids in the spotlight. Maybe they don't want the spotlight. And then and then even if they do want it, you know, I mean, you're putting your kids at risk. You know, what if someone, you know, kidnaps your child and says, holds them for ransom like that nigga from Taken? I know what he what he say. I don't know who you are, but I, I, I forgot what he said. The nigga from Taken. I think his name is Liam Neeson. I forgot what the fuck the nigga said, but, you know, that was like a classic thing he said, like the little thing on the phone and shit. But what if he said, yeah, because like the niggas kidnapped his daughter in the movie. So what if they kidnap your bitch? I mean, not your bitch. They kidnap your baby and then, you know, you got to you, you, and they say you ain't getting it, getting them back until you give me this ransom money, you know, because they know you got money. So they may harm your child and shit. So why would you do that? Why would you put them on Internet like that? You know? And I, you know, and um, I don't know, man. And to me personally, bro, like if I was famous, dude, I'm not finna be showing people like, like um, if I was famous and stuff, bro, like I wouldn't be like showing showing off my shit. I'll be private than a motherfucker. Like I wouldn't be out here like showing off my house and my neighborhood and all that shit. Because what if motherfuckers run up on you and shit? Like Jake Paul. Every uh, back when he was living, when he was doing his shit with the with the low gang or his own little squad, you know, people, all his fans knew where he lived at. That's dangerous. You shouldn't be showing your neighborhood and you know all of that shit. Now I'm 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 pretty you know I ain't famous so I can kind of do that a little bit. But even then, I don't want to take that risk of just showing all my shit off and shit. Even then, you know, I still try to keep my location discreet and all that even though i'm not famous i don't have to worry about some crazy fan or something you know so i just feel like they you know you gotta stop showing um stop putting your kids on the internet and uh stop always like showing where you be at and all that shit you know people be getting themselves caught up man like lord jamar said on vlad he said he doesn't post his like. Let's say if he if Lord Jamar goes to the bar, right? He's not gonna post pictures from the bar until after he leaves the bar. So let's say if I'm at fucking Walmart or some shit, I'm not finna post on my story. I'm at you know post that I'm at Walmart when I'm still at Walmart. I'm finna post that shit after I leave that shit. So in case niggas say yeah nigga we caught you nigga I ain't even there nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't even got social media no more, so, but, you know, but still, just stop posting your kids on the internet, man. That's just stupid. Just quit doing it. You know, no one should know about your fucking kids and shit, man. I ain't posting my kids on the damn internet. If I have kids, I ain't posting none of them motherfuckers. <laughs> I ain't posting them niggas, man. Shit, keep that shit discreet. It's just... People want to advertise too much, you know, and shit. I've I've advertised too much before too at one point on this channel. I you know, so I gotta hold myself accountable too, where I kind of put too much out there. 
You know, you can't be always, like, doing shit like that. Like, for example, like, um, there were times where I was making videos in my grandma's house and recording videos in, in people's houses and shit. People don't want they how inside their house on YouTube and shit. You know, people don't want you to record inside their house. That's why I don't I don't do that no more. I don't I don't record inside people's houses and shit. They don't want you all up in their shit. Recording the inside of their shit, see their furniture, their picture. They don't want you doing that. You know? So if I do record on someone's property or something, I just go to like a wall like this, a wall or an area where you really don't see nothing. I don't care if someone made a video at my house and you just doing it in like in by a wall, but if you showing all my personal shit, people don't want you doing that shit. So that's why I don't do that no more. You know, I have to be considerate of that. I can't just be making videos all throughout people's houses and shit. They don't like you doing that shit, man. You know, putting it all, putting it all out there like that, everybody to see. So you just gotta stop advertising so much. You know, keep some parts of your life discreet. Everybody don't need to know everything of your life, man. You know? Everyone doesn't need to know every single foundation of your life, every single thing about your life, man. Some things got to be discreet. You know what I'm saying? But... Like, even Jordan Green. Like, Jordan Green, um, his, his girlfriends of the past... You know, he wasn't like one of these niggas on YouTube. They get a girlfriend and they all and the girl is all over their channel. This is my girl. This is my girlfriend. This is my boyfriend and my boyfriend. No, nah, nigga. He only showed this girl, I think, like once or once or twice. His his, his ex. He showed her like once or twice. That was it. And then his girlfriend he got now. He, sh he showed her only one time for like she was only on camera for like and, you, and we couldn't even see her face. She was only on camera for like 30 seconds. And that was it. Because he doesn't need to advertise all of that, especially because he's he's he you know he he got some clout. Because you know he got clout and shit, and you know what if people start to harass his girl or they add drama to his girl's life, you know? Yeah, they they add they may add drama to his girl's life or something like that. Because even from watching people like DDG and Kennedy, you know, I, I believe he said that the Internet had a had a had a part in messing up the relationship. I believe he said that in one of his old interviews, if, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, he only showed this girl one time like, yo, this my girl. Well, he didn't even he didn't even do all that. Yeah, he showed her. So, yeah. So his ex, I think he showed her once or twice. He showed her. Yeah, I think she was only in one or two videos. And she was only in that shit briefly. She wasn't even, like, in it for, like, a whole, like, hour or 30 minutes. She was just in it briefly where I think he gave her, like, a hug or something. And she was, or there's one part where she was in the background. But she wasn't even up all up in his shit like that. She was, she was, she was a mystery. And I think even so Luminati, you know, there's one point he had a girlfriend. Not that one girl, the light skin, but he, he, he had a second girl. And I think she was only on his channel one time. And that's it, because you're supposed to keep that shit private. You're not supposed to fucking always put motherfuckers out there like that. And then when y'all break up and shit, you know, that's just awkward as fuck. Because now you got the motherfucker all over your channel. Or you fucking built up a reputation of having a, a couple's channel. But now that y'all broken up, y'all can't keep that shit going because y'all broke up and shit. That's why I will never do a couple's channel, because that shit never works out. Why would I build a but why would I build a couple's channel from from the ground up and I know that, that eventually we're gonna break up and now I have to stop posting on the couple's channel. Now my couple's channel is a is a dead channel now because we broke up and shit. So yeah, man, I would I would never um just if I got a girlfriend, she's all on my damn videos all the time and shit. Fuck that. You know? I wouldn't do all that shit. <laughs> you know? I would, yeah, like, I would do the same thing. Like, I wouldn't even show her, or if I did show her, maybe once, and that's that would be it. You know, I may, you know, 
Um, cause sometimes, you know, I, I be, I be putting too much out there sometimes and I gotta stop doing that. Cause it's not good to always push it out there all the damn time. You gotta keep some shit private. You know, no one should know where you live at. No one should know where you rest your head at. You know, that's why I, I, I try to keep my address discreet. No one should know where you rest your head. No one should know, you know, who you dating. And if you, and if they do know, they shouldn't know everything about it. You know, they 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 shouldn't know all the details about that shit. You know, like if like like if I do get a girl, like people's not people will say, oh yeah, that's his girl, but they ain't really gonna know that much about our relationship. You know, you got to keep some shit private, bro. That's why from now on, like, like, you know, like I just moved and shit. I just moved and I'm not finna just be recording all up in my house and shit and all of that. I'm only going to record either in my room or just find a piece of a house where it's just a white wall and just record right there. I'm not finna be showing, oh, this is my living room. This, 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 look at this, man. This, this. Fuck that shit. Keep that shit discreet, man. Because, I mean, you know, yeah, man, there was... Um, cause like there's this one show, it was called M MTV, Cri MTV Cribs and shit. And I, and I forgot the rapper who did it. I think it was Soldier Boy. You know, MTV Cribs, like they go in your house and they, you show them all, all the shit you got. Oh, this is my TV. This is my living room. This is my kitchen. This, this and that. Well, I, I think it was Soldier Boy, but one rapper, you know, showed all, showcase all his whole damn house and nigga got robbed and the niggas knew his full layout of his house because he put it on MTV Raps. I mean, MTV Cribs. So like they 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 knew the full house layout. They 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 knew the full layout of the house. Like they knew okay the the kitchen right there, the bedroom over there. You know like like they knew all of that shit. You know it wasn't like because most robbers when they break into your house they don't know where shit's at. Like they have to kind of like figure the shit out. But no, you put that shit all out there, nigga. They know exactly what they they, they they know the full layout of your house. So if you're rich, you shouldn't be just showing off your house like that, man. Seriously. Or showing off your house or showing off your neighborhood. You shouldn't be showing off your house or your neighborhood or whatever. So um, I ain't doing those. You know, if I make a video outside and I want to walk around, I'm not finna show off my neighborhood. You know, I'm going to just maybe just put like a picture on the screen and I'll just talk as I'm walking or, you know, I'll just go to like another neighborhood and walk over there so no one can know where I, where my neighborhood's at. So, yeah, right now I'm outside. All you see is a fucking tan fucking, um, a tan fucking um, background, <laughs> which I guess that which I guess that can kind of narrow down. That can narrow down my location, but it's a lot of tan fucking houses. So how do you know you're gonna be looking all day? So fuck that. But yeah, man, that's all I gotta say. I'm out. Oversharing your information, oversharing too much. Fuck that. You don't even know where I lay my head at. Shit, I don't know y'all niggas. All the fuck am I showing unknown people where the fuck I'm sleeping at? <laughs> it's fucking stupid, man. I'm not famous, so I don't, I don't got to worry about shit, really, but still. Still stupid. You shouldn't do that shit any fucking way, but. So I want to say I'm out.